Roy George? Shall I? You want to Sure, do you want me to do it? Go ahead, go ahead. Just like the old days? Uh, here's a guy who wrote a brand new score for a brand new musical open on Broadway, and he's starring in it too. Please welcome the one and only Boy George. Ooh, George O'Neill! <laughs> Now that I'm here, I'm fine. Yes, yeah, so, well, you, know, you look to you look like uh, actually you look like one of my cards in my deck of playing cards. Actually, you, <laughs> but no, you look this fabulous. is Russian. This is Russian. No, well, uh, oh, that's a Russian look. Don't insult the Russians. No, I'm not. I'm not. I would, oh, I see the hat is. You know, sure. Well, Wait, uh, which cards were you referring to? Well, you know when you go through the deck, there's a the, well maybe. Oh, okay, so I misread like the you. Joker, totally maybe. Sorry, no, no, sorry. I meant the only the deck of playing cards is rather ornate character. This sort of oh, the Joker, the Joker, yeah. maybe. Yeah, little. that's yeah. me. Yeah, possibly, <laughs> possibly. Well, thank you for coming because this thank was you. like I should tell the audience. You, you were booked, and then no, I don't want to come, and then you come, and <laughs> not you didn't want to come. You, you have a, a fear of flying or something? No, 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 no. Um, I only travel on certain days. I follow this thing called Nine Star Key, which is a Fa what is it? Nine Star Key, like cheat Nine energy. Star Key is that where you press it and you get person calls you? No, back? you don't get oh. anything. No, no. <laughs> That's Star Sixty Nine. Oh, Star Sixty Nine. Nice, Nine Star Key is an old form of uh, Japanese sort of astrology and religion that I've followed oh, I for see. fifteen years, and it does work. And, and what is the basis of it? That you travel in certain directions on certain days, particularly long journeys, like to America oh. from England. That's all. Okay, so it's only on certain day. But what is the re I mean, how do you come up with what day? What has to happen? Well, the human being you... wasn't designed to kind of be flying around everywhere every five minutes. Oh. That's why there's so many stressed out people in the world. Oh. Okay, but I mean, yeah. how does it work? Let's say, all right, I want to go to New York tomorrow. Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> well, what it does, what it does, Jay, is that, you know, like, people can't call you up the day before and say, let's go to Botswana, because that's where the stress gets piled on. So people know that you follow this, so therefore yeah. they book you in advance. And it makes everything more calm and chilled. Yeah, but, but how And you get to spend time in places like L.A. and New York, and yeah. you say, I've got to go on Thursday this day, and I've got to leave on Saturday, so you get to see the city. So it's actually quite selfish, but it's great. And it's based on your birthday, when you're born. The numbers yeah. are derived yeah. from when your birthday is. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's how it works. All and right. I've had her numbers done as well. Before. You had her numbers done yeah. as well? Yeah. You know, I've, I've had, had her, her number for years. Actually. Yeah. What, <laughs> and, and what, what, have you ever looked at someone's numbers and go, well, these numbers are just screwed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you meet partners and you'll go to the person that does the numbers yeah. and they'll say, mm, it's not going to work out. And they're always right. Really? Now, how about her number? Is that a good number? We're going to have a fantastic relationship, apparently. Really? Thank yeah. God the numbers lady <laughs> likes me is all I can say. But how do you find out someone's number without being rude? Let's say you, you find someone you that you fancy, is it the same Yes. Let's say you fancy someone yes. and you go, I'd like to know about, go out this part. Uh-oh. But I don't know what their number is. Well, you start I... with what sort of star sign, isn't it? That's always a good one. What star sign are you, Jay? Uh, I am a feces. <laughs> <laughs> No, I am Pisces, a, uh, Pisces. No, I am a, I am a Taurus. <laughs> I am a Taurus. I can't believe you just said that. No, right? <laughs> no I'm, I'm a Taurus. You're I'm a Taurus. Taurus. So you start with that, and then you sort of say, oh, what year were you born? Uh, 1950. Okay. Well, it's not going to work with you, because a lot of the people I meet were born the year my first record came out. Oh. So you say, I'm oh, too old. What you, you mean the numbers doing it? 1918, you go, oh, you make me feel really old, you know. <laughs> It's normally those sort of ways. There are ways of getting people's numbers out of them. I see. Now, Rosie, do you, do you follow this as well? Well, no, but I, when I found out George did and when I realized what a great show this was and that I wanted to produce it, I, I believe in it wholeheartedly now. Yeah, and yeah. I think that the numbers lady is a genius, and yeah. I hope she's watching. And November 13th, we open, and it's a very positive well, tell day. people what it's about. Tell people what the... Uh... Now, you... Yeah. Yeah. Is it about your life? It's partly about my life, but also about a bunch of people who lived around the same time as me, okay. going to clubs. But it's also about relationships, right. family relationships, you know. I mean, obviously, when I was growing up, my relationship with my family was always fiery because of my individualism, you know. Right. And, uh, that's true of a lot of families, you know, there's always the one kid. But that just could kid. be bad numbers. No, that's just, that's just real life, you yeah, know. I mean, yeah. I think being dysfunctional is so normal now. Yeah. I will say that my family put the funk in dysfunctional. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, the press was saying you guys were arguing. Is that true? No. No? I we... think we had a row about eyeshadow one day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, he is very concerned that when the press comes, I don't have enough makeup on, you know? Okay. So that's the only fights that we've been having. And she always thinks I've got too much on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where she gets that. <laughs>
He's just having a bad number day. Well, somebody <laughs> has to do it. Yeah, you know. no, that's true. It's that's only true. me and Marilyn Manson left, isn't there? <laughs> now, I guess Bless you, Marilyn, yeah. wherever you are. Now, I give you credit. Now, you're paying for this show yourself, right? Yes, you know, in the olden days of Broadway, David Merrick, all these amazing producers, they'd see a show they loved and they put their own money yeah. in it. And luckily, I saw the show and he was in it and the music is... It was, in the London Times, they said the best musical composition oh, yeah, of the yeah. show since Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, that's so great. So this is an amazing, brand new show. Cool. And it opens on the 13th. Yeah, cool. Well, that should be great fun. But the good news is I'm better looking than Andrew Lloyd Webber. Well, that's true. You are better looking. <laughs> and you have finer numbers. <laughs> yes. And Rosie, you had something what you, you had something you wanted to tell people? Yeah, well, as I told George, he wanted to know the secret of my success in America. Yeah. And I said, it's just free stuff. So um, wow. everyone in the audience gets a free tip. Wow. Cool. Be right back with Jack Black. What'd you want to talk about?